Petaluma woman making history becoming the first Native American in space. Joining her on the mission, the first Russian cosmonaut to fly on a U.S. spacecraft in 20 years. Bradley Blackburn has more on the launch and the rare moment of cooperation between Russia and the U.S. It was a picture-perfect launch carrying a crew of four from sunny Cape Canaveral to the International Space Station. There we should see that second engine begin to ignite now. We've got three rookies that are pretty happy to be floating in space right now. On board the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, a historic set of passengers, including Commander Nicole Mann, the first Native American woman to go to space, and 38-year-old Russian cosmonaut Anna Kikina. We will do our job the best way. She is the first cosmonaut to ride aboard a U.S. spacecraft in two decades, and it comes with strained relations between the U.S. and Russia over the war in Ukraine. Before launch, crew members said it hasn't been a distraction. I'm thinking a lot about uh, my own tasks for space program. We are not talking about much other than, you know, the mission and what we need to do to be successful. In July, Russia announced it will end its participation in the International Space Station in 2024. But until then, NASA and Russia's space agency have agreed to a seat swap to help each other stay in space. We can continue to support each other, to help each other, and to be a good partner to each other, like the best body system. A rare chance to leave some problems on Earth Let's do it together. and work together in space. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. And the crew still has a bit of a journey ahead. They'll reach the International Space Station Thursday evening. And they'll stay on board for a 150-day science mission. Pretty nice. Yeah.